Hey guys, uh, excited to talk to you. Uh, Coach Will asked me to, to give a little bit of my experience as a UVU athlete. Um, when I first started, I just got home from my mission in 2013 and uh, I was really out of shape and I went on the, the red shirt program with Coach Evans back then and I was only allowed to run 10 minutes a day and I was really scared. Uh, nervous of uh, if I was going to, to keep my scholarship or not and it was really nerve-wracking and uh, I was only allowed to run a few minutes a day and uh, the team was really amazing. Um, we had Track Norris, Jason Lynch, Josh Monson, Chris Brower, uh, a lot of great athletes on the team, Seth Gutzweiler and uh, I just felt like really inadequate and I was hoping that I'd have a chance to to compete with them and be in the top seven. Uh, I was really nervous. Um, some things that I did physically that helped me improve as a runner was I, I listened to my body. There was several times throughout my, my college career where I got injured. Um, when I was a freshman, I was doing really well. Um, and then I got mono. So I had to take a whole month off of running and uh, just had to relax and trust the process. Uh, another thing, thing that I would do when I was lifting, there was certain uh, exercises that would aggravate some some pains in my uh, hamstrings. So I would avoid those and try to substitute them with other things and let the, the weight training coaches know that I there was just some things that would aggravate some uh, potential injuries. So I paid attention there. Uh, also, I, I always try to do the lifting. Uh, the core that was recommended during the summers that's really important you might not think so but uh, the the skin on my tailbone was rubbed raw a few times from all the the crunches that coach will asked me to do and they they were hard and uh, some of the exercises may might seem silly but they're there to strengthen your core uh, they're there to strengthen your your leg muscles and your endurance uh, mentally, some things that I did was I, I surrounded my people that I feel like would help me improve. And when I first started as a red shirt, uh, I found Jason Lynch was one of the best runners on the team. And I, I wanted to, to be like him. So I, I instantly became friends with him. I wanted to spend time with him, get to know him, um, try to keep up with him in workouts and races. And it really propelled me to, to the next level of running that I didn't get to have in high school. Um, in high school, I was constantly um, not able to, to train or race with people that I felt like that could challenge me. So coming to college, it was like a sigh of relief that I could actually train with good athletes and it was fun. And I, I enjoyed the atmosphere of training with, with athletes that were better than me. Um, another thing I would do mentally was uh, I would try to put myself in the position where I could say I, I trained as smartly and as uh, with as much effort as I could and not have a regret. And I, I did that in high school and I tried to, to eat really well. And um, just when I got to the starting line, I could say, OK, I, I did everything I was supposed to do for this race today. I, I got the sleep I needed. I, I ate what I was supposed to. I, I did all that I could do for this race today. And, and when I did that, I felt a lot more comfortable with whatever the result was for the race. Uh, some things that I did to train better um, in the summers, I, I would try to not just do the miles, but I would try to make sure I was paying attention to the, to the paces of the recovery days and also the speed days that I would give my best effort to hit the times. Uh, I would also in the summers uh, try to run uphill like uh, sometimes I'd run up Provo Canyon when I lived in Orem and I do just my everyday jog runs up up to the Provo Canyon trail sometimes it gets boring to do the same trails and routes all the time but I, I enjoyed doing that uh, also when I lived in Grantsville um, in 2015 I ran up to the canyon so I think uh, hills in the summer training, not just flat all the time is, is good for um, the training. Um, some things that I did to race better, I, I would try to, to put myself out there um, with Jason, uh, even though uh, he was a lot better than me most of the time, I, I'd put myself out there and 
sometimes I would beat him, sometimes he'd beat me, and it, it was really fun in cross country and in track to, to be able to have someone that you felt good about um, training with and uh, not having a rivalry to the point where we weren't nice to each other because we didn't want to lose to each other. I, I felt like we had a healthy relationship and that's one thing about being on a team. You don't want to be the guy that um, rubs it in people's faces when you beat them when you normally don't. Like it's it's nice to 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 go back and forth, but you you got to be um, respectful to people. Um, that that's just the team health is important to to congratulate others, but don't don't over celebrate when you beat someone that you don't normally don't beat. Just be kind to them and try to make each other better. Um, and that's one of Coach Hull's uh, next lessons is, or one of his questions is, how is it important to be part of a team? So I, I felt like when I was in college, uh, Coach Hull was giving us a really good opportunity to compete. Well, most people don't get to compete in college sports after, or in sports in general after high school. They just get fat and and don't get that chance. So I, uh, I think you guys have an opportunity that probably 95% or 99% of people don't get and you got to take it seriously. You got to treat it like your job. Uh, Coach Hull is giving you guys scholarships and just an opportunity to, to be an NCAA uh, Division I athlete and you got to take it seriously. Uh, you got to do all that you can in the summers and uh, do the program. Trusting in Coach Hull's program is so important to the team health. Uh, when I was um, my freshman, sophomore year, we won conference. And then my junior and senior year, we lost by one point. And I, I knew we had really good teams those years. It was just, it came down to our fifth runner. We lost by one point each time. And I just felt like if we um, just had one extra person put in a little more effort in the summer to hit Coach Hull's program, we would have won those years easily. And um, it was just, it was hard and it, it, it was a bummer, but at the same time, the, the team is, is important. Um, you got to hold each other accountable. Um, be, don't be a weak link in your chain um, so, you, so you don't tie and lose conference two years in a row. Um, it's important to be kind to others on the team. You might not get along with everyone, but just being respectful uh, uh, and just ask how they're doing. Um, uh, last question that Coach Will has, does increasing your mileage help you? I, uh, when I started, uh, I was running 10 minutes a day. Uh, and from there, um, my freshman year, I did 60, 65 miles a week. <clears throat> Sophomore year, 70, 75 miles a week. Uh, junior year, 80 miles a week. And then senior year, I did 90 miles a week. And um, I had enormous improvement by the time I was a senior. I was hitting my best times um, in cross country. My junior year, I was hitting great times as well. And then uh, the the mileage gives you confidence as well. You know you're in shape, your body can feel it, and it's important to uh, trust that increasing mileage will make you better. And it's hard. You're going to be tired. Um, my senior year, I was doing 90 miles a week. I was falling asleep just sitting on the couch watching TV with Lara. And I, I wasn't used to that, just just dozing off. And I was glad that I uh, did those miles because that was the year I made it to, to nationals and cross country. And it gave me the confidence that I needed to, to compete at the next level. And uh, I... And grateful that I had Jason and Track and uh, Chris Brower and Seth and all those teammates that really like showed me how to to be a good runner and I hope I was able to do that with some of you that are still on the team. Uh, just be committed and uh, trust Coach Hull in the summer program. That's probably the number one thing. Just do what he says and you'll you'll get better. <laughs> like just don't don't doubt the the process and. Uh, You'll, you'll be surprised at what you can do. And uh, hope you guys have a good season. And super shout out to the men's team at re regionals last year. I was super impressed. 
and I hope you guys keep moving up in the ranks. Uh, good talking to you, and uh, go Wolverines.